Welcome back guys, today I am going to show you how to work with multi-target in Unity and Vuforia. Multi-target is a set of images which makes an object together. In Vuforia, it's basically a cuboid object or you can think it as a box. Um, so each of the side of that box has different kind of image targets, right? So when you scan it from any direction, Vuforia can easily recognize it. So to do that, I'm gonna use a cookie box like this. So I'm gonna use this middle one and you can use any box that you like. Okay, so first of all, we'll need the images of the six side of the box. So you can see that uh, this box, this is the height of the box this is the width and this is the length of the box so what I am gonna do I already have taken picture so these are the pictures from the six different side of the box you can also use your scanner if you have any to scan the different uh, sides of the object but after you take the picture you have to make sure that the aspect ratio of each side of the pictures are okay so what does that mean that means you can see that this is the height of say the front portion of the object so this height and this height they should be same right so what i did i uh, i took these pictures with an application from the app store that's a scanner application i took the photos with my mobile and then I took these photos to Photoshop and I make sure that this height and this height is the same and also this width and this width is the same this length and this length and obviously this length all are the same if you don't maintain the aspect ratio when you try to upload these images in Puforia it will not work so make sure your aspect ratio are good if you are using a scanner i think it will be fine but as i don't have any scanner i had to take images so if you are also taking images like me again make sure the aspect ratio of each side are okay now we need to go to Vuforia developer portal and add a new cuboid target put the width height and length of the object i already took the note of my objects width, height and length you should also do the same thing uh, remember that in Vuforia the measurement is in meter so uh, for example for my case the width is 13 centimeter so I am going to divide it with 100 and put the width to 0 0.133 the height to 0 0.20 and the length to 0 0.055 give the name and then add the target great now you can click on this object and you'll find this space where you can uh, upload the images for each of the side of the object When you are done uploading the images for each side of the game object then you can simply go back to the target manager here and select the target and download it as a unity asset and import this asset to your unity project. Inside unity we have to do the similar thing we did for image targets. Uh, first of all you have to delete the main camera and add the air camera then you have to go to the Vuforia configuration and make sure the app license key is correct and in this new version the database is automatically loaded so have to we don't have to uh, think about that then go to create and add a multiple target in the multiple target inspector you'll find that there is a list of database 
uh, the database I'm gonna use is already selected so I don't have to do anything for that next we have to drag and drop the model or anything any objects that you are going to augment on top of the cubite object and when you are done repositioning the object then you can just simply drag and drop it inside the multiple target game object and it will be automatically augmented when you build and run the project on your android device So as you can see, Furia can track this object from any side and the tracker is quite stable, right? So try your own project and share your project with us and I'll see you in the next class. Thank you for watching the video.